20 years ago, we didn't know for sure that there is a black hole at the centre of our galaxy. But by measuring bursts of radiation and observing in detail the orbits of stars close to the galactic centre, we now know that Sagittarius A star definitely exists. And we've been able to measure its mass. It is around 4 million times the mass of our Sun, which makes it a supermassive black hole. One of the strangest and most powerful objects in the universe. And the whole story began with the death of one massive star. Soon after the dawn of time, the cosmos was home to colossal stars, hundreds of times more massive than the sun. Stars that burnt blue with intense heat. But the brightest stars were the shortest lived. One lived a particularly fast and furious life. Burning through its nuclear fuel in just a few million years. And with nothing left in the tank, gravity took over. The star collapsed. Ever smaller. Ever denser. Until it seemingly disappeared. The remnants of the star, now smaller than an atom, lost from the universe. All that's left is a ghost. A black hole. Sagittarius A star was born a waterfall in the fabric of the universe, where space flows faster than light and time grinds to a halt. But our black hole was still just a baby. Dwarfed by the stars around it, it was nothing like the monster it would become. Sagittarius A star today is four million times the mass of the sun. There has never been a star that massive. So it must have formed by the collapse of something much smaller. And then it must have grown over the lifetime of the Milky Way by eating stuff. Unfortunately, there has been a lot of stuff around for it to eat. The young black hole's inexorable gravitational pull meant there was no escape for anything that strayed too close. Sagittarius A star began to grow, pulling on nearby stars, before ripping them to shreds and feasting on the hot plasma. The black hole gaining more mass and more gravitational power. But we don't think there were enough stars nearby for the black hole to grow supermassive on a diet of stars alone. Instead, it developed a taste for more massive prey. When another black hole passed close to Sagittarius A star, they became locked in a gravitational embrace, spiralling towards each other, approaching half the speed of light. Sagittarius A star became what we now call a supermassive black hole. Many tens or even hundreds of thousands of times more massive than any star in the universe. And Sagittarius A star is not unique. We now think that virtually every large galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its heart. 